Prisons aren't meant to be nice places, but they also shouldn't be dangerous places. If a prisoner faces danger, may the prisoner escape without facing legal consequences? The Illinois Supreme Court addressed this issue in People v. Unger. Francis Unger was a physically slight 22-year-old man serving a prison sentence in Illinois for a theft conviction. As he later testified at his trial for escape, a knife-wielding inmate threatened to rape Unger. Unger obtained a transfer to a different prison, a minimum security facility without fences. But just one week later, he was beaten and sexually assaulted by a group of inmates. Unger didn't report the assault to prison officials because his assailants threatened to kill him if he did. Five days later, he received a phone call at the prison. An unknown caller said that he believed that Unger had reported the assault to prison authorities and, as a result, would be killed that night. In response, Unger walked away from the prison. Officers arrested Unger, still in his prison clothes, two days later. He said that he had intended to turn himself in, but he first felt the need to consult with an attorney and was trying to borrow money from friends to do so. Unger was charged with escape. At his jury trial, he requested jury instructions on the affirmative defenses of duress, which is called compulsion in Illinois, and necessity. The court refused to submit his proposed instructions and instead instructed the jury that Unger's claimed reasons for escaping were irrelevant. The jury convicted Unger, and the court sentenced him to an additional prison term. Unger appealed to the Appellate Court of Illinois, which reversed his conviction. The state appealed to the Illinois Supreme Court. 